hey guys welcome to our next tutorial that is based on static so we will do two tutorials on that so this is the first tutorial where we discuss static control flow okay so basically suppose an interviewer ask you this is a program and what would be the output of this program where you can see everything is static so we have static int i equal to 10 then we have a static block okay then we have a static main method then we have again static m1 method then we have again a static block and then we have static int j equal to 20. so what would be the output so this is very confusing and i know nobody can tell the correct answer so first let's see what is the method to get the output so first point is we need to identification okay identification of static members from top to bottom second is execution of static variable assignment execution of static variable assignments and static blocks from top to bottom and now third one is execution of main method okay execution of main method so this is how actually we can get the answer of this so first is identification of static member from top to bottom so from top to bottom so when we identify this static int i so this is the one okay here jvm make the value i equal to zero okay and we also called it as read indirectly write only state read indirectly write only state okay we will cover this separately what is this for now this is jvm give the value i equal to zero okay then this is second then this is the third then this is fourth this is fifth and this is sixth okay so we have identify static member from top to bottom so from one to six we have identified this now second point is execution of static variable and assignment static block from top to bottom okay so now we are executing it and assigning the value so now this is seventh and here we are assigning i equal to zero okay and before that we miss this part when we are actually identifying it then here j equal to also zero and this is again read indirectly write only state okay now for the second execution i it become 10 okay we come here and we say system dot out dot print in i what is i i equal to 10 so first output we have is 10 okay then we come here m1 where is m1 m1 is here okay we can see j we are outputting j what is j right now zero so then we have zero okay and then we are saying first static block first static block okay then so remember we are executing the static variable assignments and static block not the static main method okay so we've done this now we come here and we say second static block second static block okay and then we are assigning the value now j equal to 20 as well all right now we are executing main method so when we come here main method so we are printing m1 okay now j is 20 so here we got 20 and then main method okay so now let's run it
and see what is the output 10 then we have 0 then first static block second static block 20 and main method all right so this is the static control flow all right so the main point is first we have to identify all the static members from top to bottom then we have to execute static variable assignment and the static blocks and then execution of main method okay all right so now uh, we have discussed you know read indirect write only so which i have right here so what is this so let's see another program okay so whenever so see there are two things okay so here i put static int i equal to zero okay so when i'm calling this static block and this is the m1 okay when through m1 i am calling this i so this is indirect because from this i am calling i but if in the static block i am calling directly i so this is the direct read okay so there is a indirect read and there is a direct read direct read means when i am putting this the value of i directly into the static block which is directly actually you know uh, um, get by the jvm so this is the direct read and when I want somebody else like m1 method to read this i so that is called we indirect read all right so um, just to give some points so inside a static block we are trying to read a variable that read operation is called direct read okay if we are calling a method and within that method we are trying to read a variable that read operation is called indirect read okay now if a variable is just identified jvm and original value is not assigned then the variable is said to be read indirect write only stat all right and if a variable is in read indirect write only state then we can't perform direct read but we can perform indirect read we are trying to read directly we will get compile time error illegal forward reference all right so let's quickly see loophole here so this is the first loophole okay so let's cover that in next session thank you